Howdy y'all, Fireman Rabbit. Today we're going to be over how to stop the grubs from getting in your compound. The five best strategies. Let's go. Alright guys, strategy one is making sure that you have adequate TC coverage. So, for example, if I'm not able to build close to the wall, then it will make it exponentially harder for me to get in, especially if I don't have any ladders. Because if I try to build this far out, I won't be able to jump in. However, we head over to this area over here. You can see I have constructed a way to get in where all I have to do is jump over this wall and I'm in. And if your auto turrets aren't on, I'm going to be getting in. Now, a simple and easy thing to do would be to just find where you don't have any TC coverage and that's where you would place your next TC. As you can see there's building privilege here so we wouldn't be able to put a TC here but once you get out of that building privilege zone you place another TC and then you'll have overlapping coverage. The next way to protect your compound is with shotgun traps or turrets. The second someone tries to climb over They'll get shot with the shotgun traps, or if they're out of the shotgun trap range, they'll be hit with the auto turrets. Here we can see. No turrets are shooting me now. That one is. Or if I hop over. As you can see, it, there's a lot of carnage going on there. I have god mode on, so I can't be killed, but... If you were on a normal server, you would absolutely be annihilated. The next way is barricades. Barricades are extremely important. Barricades make it so I can't just come here and walk in. Putting multiple barricades will make it extremely difficult to get in and will definitely help protect against grubs. There are different ways and configurations. The one thing that you want to make sure is that there's not a big gap right in between. Because if there's a big gap, then it's not going to be effective and it will definitely let them in. Just make sure that you place them where you want because if you don't and you use these metal barricades, it will cost a lot to destroy them. While we're over here, another way to protect from people climbing up is siren lights or any other mechanical means. As you can see, you cannot do any buildups. However, if they have a ladder, they can still place a ladder right next to the barricades unless you spam them all over the area. As you can see, I can still place one here. You also have to be careful because you can actually stand on these and use them. So. If you decide to put a siren light right here, it's not going to do anything because they could just jump up onto the siren light and then jump up top and it was completely useless and a waste of your metal frags. So make sure that you know the good spots to use them, half walls, that really isn't a good spot to use them. However, on the full wall lengths, it's good. Or if you have a half wall up top instead of down below, that is also another good spot to use it. I tried the method of placing it inside and making it so it clips through. I personally could not get that to work any longer. However, it may have just been my placements, not exactly sure. So you may possibly still be able to place the siren lights inside so it's not easy to destroy them. But in both my testing with the shipping container and the metal regular skin, it did not work any longer. All right, guys, our last and final strategy for keeping the grubs out of your base is simply to make sure that you close your doors. I have gotten into far too many bases by either there's doors that are unlocked and they think that they're safe because they have turrets or shotgun traps and by going through one door and the rest were all open. You can easily eco raid through a door with salvaged hammers and once you're through, if there's no other barricades or obstacles in your path, you have free reign of that entire base. So make sure to close all your doors because you can also see garage doors through the side if they're open or closed. If it says closed door, that means it's open and you're free to get in once you 
get through the initial door if those outer doors are even closed. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Fireman Rabbit out.